Today I'm going to install the valve train components. Lifters, push rods, rocker arms, uh, rocker balls and nuts. So the first thing I'm going to do, I haven't put any oil into this engine yet. Now that we've got the pan on, I can pour a little oil into the valley so when I put the lifters in they're not dry. So I bought a, a lifter camshaft kit, hydraulic, so these are all new so they can go in in any order. And it's a mild camshaft for under 5,000 RPMs. Supposed to have a little lope on the bottom side. I like the lope, but uh, was more concerned with towing power with my 71 truck and not so much concerned with RPMs. In each one of the videos, I will install in the bottom the parts that I purchased in each of the videos that I install them. Now when I uh, did an inspection of my rocker balls, rockers, and nuts, I found out that uh, my rocker balls, obviously at some point in time, my engine was run a little low on oil and or just wear, had 125,000 miles on it. Though it was original engine, original miles, and uh, I found out that the rocker balls had been worn to the point that I needed to purchase new rocker balls. And if you got to purchase rocker balls because they're so galled like mine are, then you obviously need to buy rockers too because it has worked on the rockers also. You can see the lines on the rocker balls. That's so that oil can get down in between the rocker and the rocker ball to give you good lubrication. You can see by looking at this one that it's worn but you can still see the lines where the oil the oil uh, lines were that the oil could go down in and, and lubricate those now when you looked at some of them this one had absolutely no more oiling lines for the oil oil passages for the oil to get down and lubricate the uh, rockers this is a good example of what I stated at the beginning of this series about utilizing a piece of cardboard to be able to lay out parts. These are the push rods that were in this engine. These push rods, again, only had about 5,000 miles on them. I've got it set up intake and exhaust, intake and exhaust. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which corresponds to the cylinders. Left front being number one cylinder on the engine. And I got a little table set up here so that I can reach all of my stuff. So these are my new rockers and my uh, rocker balls and rocker nuts. I ordered them. They were uh, pro form. And again, I will have that stuff in the description of the videos that they are installed in. So now that all the lifters are put in, now I will start the installation of the push rods and then the rocker arms and the balls and the nuts. So we'll start out with intake first, obviously. This one here corresponds with the exhaust for number one cylinder. 
So you can see this valve goes with number one cylinder exhaust. This valve, there's no port here, so this one goes with number one cylinder intake. So that's where we will start out. Number one cylinder intake goes in right there. Number one cylinder exhaust goes in here. Now if you look at this, you can see a wear line. So if you're reusing them, there's a wear line actually on the push rod that matches where it goes through the head. So that's how you tell the top from the bottom. Set it down in, make sure it's sitting inside of the uh, uh, lifter when you set it down inside. Now that all of the push rods are installed, now we can go through with the new rocker arms and install them. These are stock 1.5 ratio long slot rockers made by Proform. There is no difference between the intake and the exhaust. They're all the same. Whatever you do, always be careful of what you're... Right now I'm working over an open engine. Make sure you keep track of all your parts so you don't lose anything and try not to do what I'm doing now which is reaching over the engine because now you're taking a chance of dropping something down inside. And that would mean having to pull everything back apart and find what you dropped inside. That's another reason why it's good to keep a sheet over the top of it just so that you don't end up doing that. So. Right now, I'm installing all the rocker balls. Before I start tightening on these rocker nuts, and balls, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in each one of these so that it has some lubricant inside. I am not this short. I'm just uh, leaning against the garage door so that I can uh, still have a fairly close-up view and be able to speak to you about this. So now we have all of the lifters, the push rods, the rocker arms, and the rocker balls, rocker nuts all installed. Now if you want to uh, see my sequence and my method of adjusting the lifters, go to this video link up above and that's a video that I made about two years ago, the last time that I worked on this engine and uh, you can watch that video and that will go through the sequencing of uh, adjusting all the hydraulic lifters. Have a great day.